Welcome to the 5150 Triathlon de Pitan Athlete Race Briefing. Athletes are required to read and know the rules and schedule of the race. You may go online at www.ironman.com slash 5150-dapitan-philippines to download the Athlete Information Guide. Athlete Check-in Schedule, September 6, Friday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and on September 7, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Bike mechanics are available during the athlete check-in and are located inside the expo area. Designated parking is located inside the Dakak Park and Beach Resort from September 6 to 7, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure to check the items included in your race kit. These are the following. Race bib, swim cap, gear bags, street gear bag, helmet and bike stickers, race number tattoo, wristband. Please make sure that you always wear your wristbands. Your wristband is your form of identification and access in the main race areas. You will need to claim your timing chip when you check in your bike just before you exit transition. On race day, please make sure to wear your timing chip on the left ankle. If you lose your timing chip during the race, Please inform the staff at transition or at the swim start so that our timing team can replace your chip. To those athletes who suddenly won't be able to race or decided not to race on Sunday, you must return your timing chip at the race information booth located at the Punto del Desembarco de Rizal and Dapitan. Or you may hand it over to our timing team or to our race officials at the transition area. For relay teams, all relay teams must be present and together during the athlete check-in to pick up their assigned race packets. Relay members cannot pick up race packets for their teammates and will not be able to check in if a relay team member is missing. All relay members must have a photo ID. At check-in, each team member will be required to sign their own individual waivers. No waiver, no race. A relay team will be assigned one bib number. Please note the team differences. Race bib number worn by the runner. Athlete wristband. Each team will receive their own wristband. Street gear bag. Each team member will receive their own bag. Timing chips will be picked up at the bike check-in. There will only be one timing chip per team. Relay teams will need to exchange their timing chip at the relay tent in transition. Bike check-in is on Saturday, September 7, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure that you queue based on the last number of your race bid. Below is the schedule. All bikes must be checked in on Saturday. No bike check-in on race morning. Helmet check, bike and run gear bags, street bag drop, and bike pump drop-off is on race morning. Bike mechanics will be located at the bike mechanics tent. Please make sure to go to them if you need their services. Only basic services will be available. Race day is on Sunday, September 8. Transition will open at 4.30 a.m. and will close at 6 a.m. Race start is at 6.20 a.m. The awards presentation is as early as 11.30 a.m. at the Punto del Desembarco de Rizal and Dapitan. The expected air temperature is 32 degrees Celsius with a real feel of 36 degrees Celsius. The expected water temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and will be a non-wetsuit swim. The expected water condition will be flat and calm. Winds will be southwest 9 km an hour with wind gusts of 24 km an hour. We will provide an update prior to race day. Make sure to bring all the items you need for the race. These are Timing chip Swim cap Helmet Bike shoes Bike pump Make sure your bike pump is labeled with the sticker included in your kit. Leave your bike pumps at the bike pump drop-off. Bike and run gear bags Street gear bag race bib with safety pins or race belt nutrition hydration cap and sunglasses remember to follow the prescribed course 
It is the athlete's responsibility to know the course. Athletes must cover the prescribed course in its entirety. Failure to do so will result in disqualification. If an athlete must exit the course, he or she shall re-enter the course at the same point of departure before continuing. Important Medical and Health Information Your safety is our primary concern. The medical team will be stationed at the following. Race Venue Swim, Start and Exit Transition All Bike and Run Aid Stations And at the Finish Line If you are not feeling well on race morning, we strongly advise that you do not start the event. If you decide not to start the event, you must inform a race official so we can officially withdraw you from the event. If you start to feel unwell at any point of the day, we urge you to seek help rather than continue. If during the race you experience chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath or lightheadedness, please stop immediately and seek medical attention. A medical evaluation does not constitute outside assistance. You will not be disqualified for receiving a medical evaluation or having someone help you in getting medical assistance. During the swim, if you need assistance, raise your arm. If able, also yell, help! Grab onto stationary safety assets if you need help. On the bike and the run, medical staff are located at all aid stations. If you are not in an aid station, stop. Let someone know you need help. Provide your bib number at the recovery or post area. Do not leave the post-race area until you are okay and rehydrated. If you are not well, please go to the medical tent at the finish line to be evaluated. Do not be afraid to ask for help. You will not be disqualified for receiving a medical evaluation. Manage your health and safety on race day. Race healthy, race smart. Swim The swim starts at the Santa Cruz Beach near Punto del Desembarco de Rizal and Dapitan. The 1.5-kilometer rectangular clockwise swim course starts with a 100-meter swim out towards the first red buoy where participants will make a left and swim for 550 meters. The participants will turn right on the next red buoy and swim for 50 meters and make another right turn and swim for 650 meters. The participants will make a final right turn and swim for 150 meters towards the swim exit and head to transition to start the bike leg. There will be no official swim practice before race day and no swim warm-up on race morning. Please take note that there will be no lane lines along the swim course. Directional and siding buoys will be available on the course and are set up 100 meters apart. Yellow buoys for outbound. Orange buoys for inbound. Red buoys for turning. All turning buoys will be red. Keep them on your right shoulder. The timing mat is located under the start arch. Your time will start the moment you cross the timing mat. Participants will be released by rolling start. Six participants per five seconds. Swim start is at 6.20 a.m. Here are the following swim zones. Swim zone 1, below 25 minutes, blue swim cap. Swim zone 2, 25 to 30 minutes, pink swim cap. Swim zone 3, 31 to 35 minutes, violet swim cap. Swim zone 4, 36 minutes to 40 minutes, yellow swim cap. Swim Zone 5, over 41 minutes, neon green swim cap. First-time participants or those who might need special attention during the swim, please make sure to wear a white swim cap. Ask your corral manager for a white swim cap. This is on a first-come, first-serve basis. Swimwear must not cover the neck, go past the elbow, or extend past the knees. Sleeves can be worn but cannot exceed past the elbow. Swimwear may contain a zipper. A race kit may be worn underneath the swimwear as long as it does not extend past the elbow or below the knees. Illegal swimwear will result in disqualification. An aid station is available at the swim exit. Swim cutoff time is 60 minutes after the last athlete crosses the start line at the rolling start. Bike the two-loop bike course starts at the Sunset Boulevard. Participants will head towards the Pitan City Hall 
then will make a right turn at Polo Dapitan National Park Road towards Dapitan City Rotonda. At the rotonda, participants will turn left onto the Polog Oroqueta National Road. Turnaround is at Barangay Oyan at kilometer 10. Participants will head back to Sunset Boulevard for the second turnaround at kilometer 20. Participants will ride back out to complete the final second loop at Oyan at kilometer 30. Then ride towards Sunset Boulevard, rack their bikes, and head to the run course. Roving bike mechanics are available along the course. Make sure you ask a bike marshal if you need assistance. This is on a first-come, first-served basis. Expect wait times. Please ask a marshal if you need assistance. We encourage athletes to be self-sufficient and to have spares and repair kits with you. There are two aid stations within the bike course with a total of three passes. This is located at kilometer 10, kilometer 21, and kilometer 30 of the bike course. Water, Ion Plus Advanced Electrolyte, Splash Zones, Portable Toilets, and Medical Personnel are available at these stations. The Trash Zone is 30 meters before and 30 meters after the aid station. These will be clearly marked with signages. Any litter outside of these zones will result in a penalty. Please slow down and stay on the right when approaching the aid station. To those who will not collect from the aid station, please keep left. Please follow race marshals and directional signs for guidance and safety on the course. Bike and Gear Checkout Schedule September 8, Sunday, 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. All unclaimed bikes will be left at transition. Organizers will not be liable for any unclaimed bikes. The 5150 Triathlon Dapitan is a non-drafting race. Strict and knowledgeable bike marshals will penalize you for drafting. So, please make sure you follow the instructions if you are told to stop by a bike marshal. Please take note of the Ironman drafting rules. Maintain a drafting distance of 10 meters. Riders must complete a pass within 20 seconds and should pass on the left side. It is the rider's responsibility to drop back the 10 meters out of the draft zone of the athlete in front of you and avoid a penalty. Riders passing on the right will receive an illegal pass penalty. Drafting penalty is at 2 minutes for each penalty. The penalty tent is located along Sunset Boulevard, approximately 1 kilometer from Transition 2. If you do receive a penalty from the race referees or race officials, they will show you a blue, yellow, or red card. The official will tell you to stop at the penalty tent and note your race number and other information. These are the official penalty cards. Blue is for drafting and littering. Penalty is 2 minutes at the penalty tent. Yellow card is for blocking. Penalty is 15 seconds. Two blue cards will result in a red card which means disqualification from the race. Please do not argue with the race officials, but do acknowledge the card. If you do not report to the penalty tent to serve your penalty, you will be disqualified. Bike cutoff time is 3 hours and 30 minutes after the last rolling start release at approximately 10 a.m. Please take note of the intermediate bike cutoff times based on the last swimmer entering the water. Turn around 2 at kilometer 20 at approximately 8.50 a.m. Run! The two-loop counterclockwise run course starts at the Sunset Boulevard. Participants will turn right at Wading Adasa Street, then another right at M. Retiro Street, then turn left at El Filibusterismo Street. Athletes will turn right at Noli Metangere for the first turnaround at kilometer 1.5. Participants will head back to M. Retiro Street. Turn right at Justice Florentino Sagin Street and turn left at Jose Rizal Avenue to make the second turnaround at kilometer 3.5. Participants will head back to Guading Adaza Street to make the third turnaround and complete the first loop of the course. Participants will make another loop to complete the course before heading to Sunset Boulevard for the finish line. Note that the run course is on partial closure only. There are four aid stations within the run course with a total of seven passes, approximately 1 to 1.5 kilometers apart. Splash zones, water, 
Ion Plus Advanced Electrolytes, Ice Packs, Portable Toilets, and Medical Personnel are available at these aid stations. The trash zone is 20 meters before and 20 meters after the aid station. These will be clearly marked with signages. Any litter, intentionally or carelessly outside of these zones, will result in a penalty. Please follow race marshals and directional signs for guidance and safety on the course. Run cutoff is 5 hours and 30 minutes after the last rolling start release at approximately 12 p.m. Please take note of the intermediate run cutoff time. Turnaround, kilometer 3 at approximately 11.05 a.m. The timing chip will ensure you have completed the run course. Please ensure you follow the prescribed course. It is the athlete's responsibility to know the course. Athletes must cover the prescribed course in its entirety. Failure to do so will result in disqualification. If an athlete must exit the course, he or she shall re-enter the course at the same point of departure before continuing. Athletes who do not complete the course within the designated course cutoff time will fall into one of the two classifications in the race results. Did not finish or DNF Athletes who miss a swim course or bike course cutoff time or an intermediate bike or run course cutoff time will not be allowed to continue. Not classified NC Athletes who cross the finish line before the run course is closed but end up with a total race time over the maximum allowed to complete the entire course. Finishing the 5150 Triathlon Dapitan is your ultimate goal. We at Ironman would like you to have the best experience at the finish line. So make sure you smile, dance, celebrate. Do keep in mind that you're the only one allowed to cross the finish line. No family, no friends. No coaches will be allowed to cross the finish line with you. For relay teams, you may cross the finish line all together as a team. Just go to the relay meetup tent along the finish chute. The finish line process. Cross the line. The marshals will be there to congratulate you and you will receive a medal. Get water, hand over your timing chip and proceed to the recovery area for a shower. Get your finisher shirt, street gear bag pickup and food. Awards presentation is on Sunday, September 8, as early as 11.30 a.m. at the Punto del Desembarco de Rizal and Dapitan for the top three athletes in each age group. Special awards will be given to overall male and female Filipino age group finishers, fastest tri-team, fastest relay team, and the biggest team attendance. The Ironman Tracker app provides official real-time tracking Download the app on your phone to track athletes' times, find them on the interactive map, and share race day updates on social media. Sportograph is our partner for high-quality athlete photography in this race. They will proudly provide you with their photo flat to relive the experience of your 5150 triathlon race. Smile and celebrate your achievement! Visit www.sportograph.com This was your 5150 Triathlon Dapitan Race Briefing. Race safe, good luck, and see you at the finish line!